as a family, we have enjoyed doing hundreds of video and written reviews of fun family games, be it board games, card games, dice games, dexterity games, whatever, over the last six plus years. But, as you could expect, not all of our game playing is going to be here at home with our family. A lot of times we're going to extended family gatherings somewhere else, in which case we're going to supply the games. I've also put together a monthly guys game night for me and my friends to get together. And in some cases we have that at other people's houses, like tonight. So it's kind of a regular occurrence that we're gathering games together to pack up to take to someone else's house. And we have different size of bags that we've done for that. But there's a cool new bag that we just found out about that we want to share with you. And that is called the Game Canopy. And so we're going to show you a little bit about that. But first, we need to gather some games. So let's go pick some games. All right, picking games for guys game night is kind of tough. But let's see, we definitely know they like some social fun games. Let's get some cash and guns. Maybe a little bit of bluffing with Sheriff of Nottingham. We'll settle down to a little bit more strategy. Let's see. Steampunk Rally, that plays up to eight. Not knowing who's going to be there, we don't know what mood everybody is in. So whether we're going to go heavy, whether we've got some two-player games, let's see. Need a little bit of two-player games to, to, hang, to hang on to. Let's see, we got room for a few more. There's a lot of good strategy games that uh, we could think about, but maybe we're in the uh, space mood. And let's see, we'll get a uh, Cosmic Encounter, maybe a roll for the Galaxy, just for options. But then, we also may want uh, some cooperative play. Let's see, it also plays up to a bunch. Maybe some Shadows over Camelot. We haven't done that for a while. So let's see, amongst these, let's see, we got three games there, four games there. That's plenty to choose from. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Let's see, Shadows of Camelot. Going for the Galaxy. And let's see. Oh, can't fit Cosmic. All right, let's see. Can we fit Steampunk? Quite. All right. Well, those look like they're maybe sheriff. Nope. All right. Cash and guns. Yep. We could get some cash and guns in there tightly. Or we probably want a variety of. Maybe instead we do a little two-player game. So there we have it. We got our bag, and we're down to just three games. So let's break out the game canopy. And see how things come along here. Let's go ahead and get our Shadows Over Camelot in there. A little bit of Roll for the Galaxy. Cosmic Encounter. And we'll try some Steampunk Rally. You know, it depends on who shows up and what mood they're in. Some Sheriff of Nottingham Cash and Guns. But I think we got a good variety. And for those that show up early, you know, we can even fit in our little two-player inch with room to spare nice and simple zip up all the games are nice and padded and protected there we go I think we're ready to go but I actually got another little pocket let's go ahead and take some longhorn with us as well oh wait we got another pocket on the back you know what maybe we need a little Batman love letter or some Hobbit love letter. Yeah, that ought to be good for getting started. So, with that, we'll go ahead, get our bag all ready, and we are ready to head off to game night. Let's see, we got seven in the center and three on the outside, so we got 10 games to choose from tonight. All right, have fun. Okay, so we're going on a trip this weekend as a family. And Dad packed a bunch of games in here, and I didn't like most of them, so I'm repacking it. Now I'm just gonna see if all 11 of these can fit. My 
only job is not to tell him that I switched up. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's nice and sizable. Got a cool logo, a lot of straps, or at least rings for straps. We've got the side pocket here, the other side as well. Got a nice side pocket to fit things in. Great construction, good stitching. I chose the yellow because it's pretty cool looking. The others look cool too. As you can see, you've got your Velcro st that strap on top. And the zippers that come on down and see how they open up down there. But one thing you'll notice with the zippers is inside the zipper you got some lining. So the zipper's not going to rub against the side of the games or anything there. That's good stitching all throughout. The other thing with how it flaps open like that, it's easy to get games in and out of. It's also very well padded on all sides, so good padding and with the good zippers and the good protection. So, fantastic construction and it fits a lot of games. Anyway, there you have it. There's the game canopy. We're showing you a lot of details of how well constructed it is and how many games you can fit in there. If you're in a situation where you're either going away for a guy's game night and you want to take a bunch of games for the variety like we just showed here, or you're going for the weekend with the family and you want to be able to pack it away, you know that all of the games are well protected. You can fit a bunch in there for any wide range of game styles or moods that you're going to be in over the weekend. And it can fit in there with your luggage very nicely, nice and compact, and you can get it all away and you don't have to worry about big plastic bins that take up more space and don't fit your games and they rattle around in and, and they're unprotected. This is the way to go. So anyway, we suggest you check it out.